What's going on guys? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to a review because I was meant to go live, but I decided, you know what? Why do I put myself through this shit every week? Why do I come here and then just depress myself and then go home and go live, sit in my corner and feel like shit? Alex has got me tickets to the AJ fight. I'm going to the AJ fight and then we're doing a WrestleMania and a review. So check that out, people, because that will be live very soon. But until then, yeah, just hold the review. Fucking Chelsea nil, Aston Villa 2. Same old shit, as you guys already know and as you guys already probably anticipated too. Except for me, because my dumbass deludes myself into thinking that we can do something every week. Silly fucking me, innit? Um, big up everybody. Like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. We're just, we are, we are so pathetic. We are, are so fucking pathetic and I'm tired of it. Tired of seeing the same shit every week. And you can go round in circles talking about the problems, but it's the same problems every week. It is the same fucking problems every week and it rears its head again and nothing changes. Nothing changes at all. No matter how many times that we try and delude ourselves into thinking that it will be different this time, it never is. It never is. We either get away with it because teams don't put us away when they have the opportunities to do it or you get results like this. It's one way or the other. I knew that run in March was fake as fuck. I knew it. And then we still went and we did the same shit again against the Villa side that were there for the taking. The only thing that surprised me this time was the, de was the defence. Because I expected our defence to be better under any circumstance. Instead, it was the same old crap. And that, that I did not expect. And to be honest, that's probably the reason why we lost. Koulibaly, absolute bozo. I, I, I think I'm tired with him. I think I'm done with him. I really am because he, he's, he's so clumsy. He, he's so fucking clumsy. Kukurella, I could be annoyed at him all he wants. Why didn't Badia Shield play? Why didn't Badia Shield play? Because that made absolutely no sense to me at all. Fucking... Um, James wasn't great, but he was the best out of a bad bunch. Ruben was poor. Um, Enzo Kovacic, to be honest, was our only positive. The attack, just crap. I told everyone, March Verts will not fool me. And we had April Havertz, and he was fucking invisible and timid, as he always is. Same old shit. Same old shit every week. And this was a big... 10th versus 11th six-pointer. Deep that. Deep that. This was a big six-pointer for us and we got dominated at home by Aston Villa. We are a joke. We are pathetic. We are embarrassing. This is, we are scandalous. All words to describe how shit we are this season, this game in general. And now the winnable run of games are over. That whole period that we were talking about from January through March is done. Now we have Liverpool, now we have Brighton, now we have Brentford, now we have Man United, now we have Man City, now we have Arsenal, now we have Newcastle. Why don't you man try and tell me how many results you expect us to get from that game? If we even get 10 points, I will be happy. I mean, my ass has been screaming for 40 points since January and we still haven't got that. April Fool, I feel like the fool because I turned up here. I feel like the fucking fool. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. We deal with this shit every single fucking week. And the problem, like, I, I, I rate Bowley. I really do. And I trust the long-term process that him and the infrastructure are building. But as long as Graham Potter's in charge, nothing is going to change. And the more that we keep Graham Potter in charge, the more that the fingers are going to start to point at Bowley. And I'm not saying Bowley out now. I'm not going to be saying it later either. But more people will start saying it the longer that it takes for him to make a decision. He needs to sack Potter now. While well, we still have something to fight for. While well, people are still backing Bowley. Because people are turning. People are starting to turn. Because people are looking at him now and they're saying, your ego is getting in the way. You are the one stopping us from doing this. So we got to be real about it. Graham Potter's got to go. The squad are shit, but like the squad I've been saying are shit, but it shouldn't be getting to a point where we can't even get 40 points. I don't even know when we can get to 40 points. 
that's what I'm looking at at this point. 40 fucking points and my football team cannot even reach that. Head is gone, man. But individually, we sucked. Like, I think only Kovacic, only Enzo, maybe James can come out of this game looking good. Mudrik was very shaky. Felix, shaky as hell too. I can say Felix is the best out of a bad bunch, but I'm not doing this best out of a bad bunch either. Because then you protect the lights of a Havertz, so you protect the lights of a Mount in the past. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. They, they were all poor. Ruben wasn't good enough. Chilwell was all right. Kepa didn't really do too much, but I see the long shots issue with the second goal yet again. It, it's just a load of shit. It's just a load of shit. And now we've got Liverpool coming. They got battered 4-1 by Man City earlier today. They're probably going to go and get another result. They'll come to the bridge and win again. They'll come to the bridge and win again. And then we'll go to Wolves. Well, I won't go to Wolves. I'll be real with you. I am not going to Wolves away. I am not going to Real Madrid away. I'm skipping both of those shit shows. You will not see me there. We'll be doing watch-alongs here. I will not be here for that crap. And yeah, it's only going to get worse. Because Graham Potter is going to stay in charge. We might get a jammy win here or there and pretend that the process is back and things are improving. I'm not here for it anymore. I'm not here for it. The likes of Peter, the likes of Andrew, they tell me, why do I turn up to this shit every week? Why do I? Oh, wait, because I get paid for the vlogs. Other than that, like, I don't know why I do this to myself. Because this just sucks. It fucking sucks. Week in and week out, I feel depressed as shit. I've got mates who don't even turn up to games anymore because they're the smart ones. They're the ones who decided, you know what? I'm not going to go to this one. I'm going to save my money. I'm going to save my emotions. And I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave it. And more people are doing it now too. Fair fucking play to them. I'll be real. I'm a couple results away from doing it myself. But yeah, this team is shit. This manager's crap. I don't know how things are going to improve, if things are even going to improve. And it's just, just dreadful. It's just absolutely dreadful. Liverpool away next. Anyone want to try and tell me how we win that one? Let me know in the comment section below. Because right now, our defence is shaky as shit until Thiago Silva comes back. By the way, all those people who told me that Thiago Silva was, was, uh, was what was wrong with this defence. Hold that, you stupid dickheads. You're trying to go after the guy who deserves to be outright our player of the season. You're fucking bellends. All of this shit. The midfield is now looks like the only good part but they'll get dommed as soon as they face anybody semi-decent our attack couldn't finish a wank they're all crap all of them from first man to last they fucking stink uh, yeah big up everybody like subscribe all of that i'll be live at about 12 or 1 or whenever wrestlemania is live i didn't even I, I just wanted us to win so i could enjoy the stream and we could talk about wrestling but no it's going to be a four hour chelsea roast sesh i can't be bothered for it but yeah, we're out. Peace up the chat.